Welcome to AI Abuse Insights, where we hope and grow through action by doing something positively each day to impact people's lives. Good morning and happy Tuesday, my loyal subscribers. I hope you're doing okay. And if you're new to my channel or you have been here but not yet subscribed, why not give us this some support today? Hit that red button that says subscribe. When you do, three bell will appear. Hit the one at the top that looks like it is shaking so that YouTube notify you as soon as I post a new video. All done? Great. It's the time again where I share my daily meditation with you. And the topics for today are judgment and positivity. We can allow ourselves to develop and learn to use judgment whilst refraining from judging others unfairly and learn to trust based on using good judgment. Do you know where you are on your journey to recovery? Have you experimented to know if you are now in a safe situation unaffected by the very memory of your past experience? When you do, then you can make accurate judgments about the effects other people, places or things will have on you in a situation you've chosen to enter. During childhood, we did not have the ability to protect ourselves, but now we can choose to learn how. Many today are still being affected by hearing the word abuse, childhood, the name of a person, places, or of a thing, because it triggers their memories, weakening them emotionally. This clearly means they have not allowed themselves healing, growth acceptance to move forward. If you are one of those individuals triggered by what I'm saying, it is okay to feel the way you do, but it is not okay to rob your life of what you can be. Because we may have gotten off to a bad start in life, grew up in a negative atmosphere and around negative people, doesn't justify us living the negative life. You may not even realize that you are living negatively, but if you surround yourself with the right people, positive go-getters, people who are always looking for the next opportunity to take themselves another step up, you will get to see more of you within that circle. Putting something off does not make it go away either. It only allows the dread feeling to torment you more. You know, confidence and negativity do not go together. They just don't mix. You can choose to confidently take action today. Develop a sense of confidence to start trusting yourself and others. Start seeking others with whom you can share your experience. Best to start with other abuse survivors. Know that it is okay to have feelings of doubt simply because they are part of our being. Sharing your experience doesn't mean you are trying to justify to others your life events and or pointing fingers. It is for your benefit to start connecting with your inner self, weakening the power your past life still has over you and to experience life in its full capacity to be free and without guilt or feeling of shame, to bring order in your life and to experience a sense of validity and substance. And that is my share with you today. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do so as YouTube will notify you every time a new video is posted.